Feels good what we've been doing here. Why are the stakes less personal in this system? I hate to admit it. Those are real people down there, just as real as the people I knew back in the Lokanda system. I can't say they're as real to me, though. I just don't have an image of them in my mind. You'd burn out very quickly if you did. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. We've got a weapons convoy coming in. If we can get it through the blockade, the base will have a chance of defending itself. And we must protect this convoy at all costs. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. your status. No problems, Colonel. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Going after. target.
Breaking attack. Going out. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Break and attack. Going after. Prepare to die. Say good night, kitty.
Mission objectives accomplished. Clearance, TCS Victory. Black mates as they can take from here, Colonel. Our next stop is downtown Kilra. There's something close to it. You're cleared to land. Way to go, sir. Outstanding. <laughs> Not now, partner. All you jocks want to recon work so bad, now you got it, which means us grunts gotta bust our asses for you. Time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorathids waiting to die in my hands. Well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. She's right. <sighs> She's out there. She's right. We're gonna kick some ass here. Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just ante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve, then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it, but my wheels are always turning. I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation, even when they ain't. I like to be real sure. He's worried about nothing. We're just pilots. He's worried about nothing. Hey, we're the good guys, remember? We don't go after innocents. It's the difference between us and them. Well, it's like the cards, see? A lot of people, they never ask questions about what's dealt. Part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. Now, 
As you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive weapon. You need to nail every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. God, I love that boy, Spunk. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. Break and attack. Here we go.
What's your status? Not a scratch on me. Nailed that critter. We got company. Breaking attack. Here we go. Breaking attack. Here we go. Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Waste every last one of them, sir. That's what I like to see, cats pushing up daisies. You got clearance. Smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. Let me guess. You're an RV, right? RV, sir? 
Recon version, first time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Stop worrying, Vaquero. War is hell, buddy. Stop worrying, Vaquero. Well, enemy lines are just squiggles drawn on a map, Vaquero. They don't mean squat otherwise. Don't worry about it. Once, sir, we're actually taking it to the cats. Well, what do you think, Lieutenant? Maybe we have a chance in this war after all? Could be. But I wouldn't make plans for a victory party just yet. It is good the missions we now fly. At last, we take the battle to the enemy. Well, a little rocking and rolling is good for the soul, I guess. Strange that despite the skill and courage demanded in flying, a part of the Kerathi spirit is never entirely satisfied by interstellar combat. You like it up close and personal? Mm. We are taught how to use these claws even before we can speak or walk. But this seems savage to you, primitive. Killing is killing, hot-blooded or cold. You're one of the best pilots we've got, buddy. Don't start second-guessing what you do. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. This is the kind of mission I take special pride in. We're going to play possum. Inside the nebula here. Karathi used it to screen convoys coming in and out of this system, and the longer we can stay undetected, the more damage we can do. Again, we can't let a single one of their ships escape, and I don't have to tell you the kinds of hazards you'll face trying to navigate in a nebula. Only the best flyers can make the necessary adjustments, Colonel. I have faith you'll be one of them. I won't disappoint, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Mikado, I like you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. my target. Sure thing, sir.
What's your status? My machine is clean, sir. Got those in sight, sir. Attack my target. Sure thing, sir. Break an attack. Andale, let's
Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> hey, nothing like the sweet smell of success, eh, Colonel? Hey, maybe this time should get a new name, like, uh, the Deceptor or the Trickster. Maybe the Ambush. Yeah, that, I like the sound of that, the Ambush. Oh, you're clear to land, sir. The Ambush. Way to go, sir. I'll stand. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, Colonel. Good to see you. You're flying high today. Well. Where it is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horrors, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. <laughs> it's good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We're packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathi are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, okay? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Take an attack. Engage an enemy now.
attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. What's your status? We're sitting pretty, sir. Excited enemy craft, Colonel. Attack my target. Affirmative, Colonel. Your status. We're sitting pretty, sir. What's your status? I'm happy to report that I've suffered no damage. Need clearance, TCS Victory. That spooky 
you like it does me, sir. I mean, if the crowd can close up jump points whenever they want, I mean, I don't even want to think about it. We're just lucky navigation was on the ball. Nice job, Colonel. You cleared the land. Way to go, sir. I'll stand. <laughs> the aerial system like the back of your paw and you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us no more than you lieutenant you're a liar play along with her stick up for Hobbs lieutenant excuse me Colonel Hobbs loyalty is not to be questioned again is that understood systems have been jammed and guess who's behind it come on lieutenant don't tell me you can't do anything i'm trying sir but it looks like some kind of video virus or should i say worm yeah this looks like a major debug i have read your terran bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth it is about to be fulfilled we will tear your tongues out we will scoop out your brains. That ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy. And clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Gilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades 
to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Gerasi <laughs> believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. Captain, we have a crafty force heading our way. I think they came through that last jump point. It doesn't look like they're running scared, sir. I'll see you in the briefing room. Ain't we the lucky ones? First a nebula, now an asteroid belt. I mean, we seem to be flying into one damn obstacle course after another. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? Rag him. Hey, it's tough for both sides. Rag him. At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. It's funny. Close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know they can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. To think. The only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. Ah, come on. I hope you're not putting much stock in all that hot air the Thrak Calf decided to blow our way. No, sir. Good. Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device in Ariel that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confair thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. Well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation has located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck.
break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Enemy target destroyed. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. Say good night, kitty. Mission objectives accomplished. What's your status? No problems here, Colonel. Need clearance, TCS Victory. That'll teach the Rack Hat to crash bit us. You're clear to land, Colonel.
good news is we scooped up Maniac. The bad news is he's still on the flight roster. <laughs> <laughs> Swell. You know, my father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. It's tough getting old. Hmm. I'll bet he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked. You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. <laughs>